Hey there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today I'm gonna to show you how to apply my winter window overlays in Photoshop. Uh, so this is the photo I'm gonna to use today. This photo was submitted by Amber Ganey of Amber Photography. Uh, thanks so much, Amber, for letting me use your image. Uh, so once your overlays have been downloaded from the site after purchase, um, all you have to do is extract the zip file and they're ready to use. You don't have to install them or place them anywhere in particular. So what you'll do is just open the image that you want to edit and you're going to go to file place embedded. Now, if you're on an earlier version of Photoshop, this might say file place. That's fine too. Uh, so just click that and then navigate on your computer to wherever you saved those overlays. So mine are located right here. I'm just going to choose one um, and you just want to highlight it and hit place. So I chose winter window 11 and this one is just gonna pop up on your photo. So I'm just dragging it up to the corner and then I'm gonna stretch the opposite end to fit the frame. So the photo is actually a different proportion than the overlay itself. So I'm just gonna stretch the overlay to fully cover the image and then I can control how I want it aligned or like where I want it placed. Um, so I think I like having these bottom corners visible here. Um, maybe drag it a little lower. And that's all you have to do. Just hit the check mark and it's done. Um, so this overlay, uh, Winter Window 11, actually has some frost visible on the window, um, but these overlays do come with extra frost. So if you apply a different overlay, um, first, let me show you, if you wanted to blur this, make it look like the window was out of focus, um, all you have to do is make sure that this layer right here is highlighted, and then go to Filter, Blur, and use your favorite method of blur. I'm just gonna use Gaussian. And then you can choose how much blur you want to apply. Um, so for me, if I wanted this overlay to be blurry, um, there are some that are already blurred in the collection. Um, so I would probably use that and then apply um, one of the frost overlays separately. So I will show you how to do that as well. But this is how you could just drag and blur this as much as you want. Um, so for me, I would probably blur it just a little bit so I could still see some of that frost. Um, but you can go as far with this as you want to make them look out of focus. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here and I'm just going to drag this overlay to the trash can and then I'm going to go back to file place embedded and we're going to find another one to use. Um, so this time I'm going to use, see here you can see that there's some winter frost. These ones don't have window panes visible. It's just the frost and snow um, on the window. So you can mix and match these overlays if you want. Um, so here I'm going to use winter window one and hit place. And this one does have some little like snow effects along the edges of the panes. So you could leave it as is. Again, I'm just stretching this to fit the photo. Um, I'm just dragging it up a little bit. Okay, and then I hit the check mark. And so what you can do here is add an extra frost overlay to increase the effect if you wanted. Um, so I always like to make sure that the frost is applied um, underneath or behind the window so that you can still see those black window panes um, with the frost behind it. So I'll show you how to do that here. Um, so usually what I would do is just select the layer below that window um, before applying, but it doesn't matter. Let's just say you have your current window selected. You go to File, Place Embedded and you choose one of the frost options. So I'm gonna choose window frost three and hit place. And so this will pop up on your photo. Um, again, we're just gonna put it up in the corner, drag it to fit, and you can stretch these windows or the frost as large as you want to get the effect um, to look the way you want it. Um, so here, I'm gonna make sure that it just fits the frame and then hit the check mark. And so what I would do here is drag this window frost overlay right below the winter window so that you can see the panes still. Um, and again, since the window pane itself is blurred, you might wanna blur the frost just a little bit. Um, so here with the window frost layer selected, again, you would just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then you can um, control how much blur is applied. So here again, I would try to stay at a lower radius, maybe of like 4.6 or something like that. So there's some blur added, but you can still see a little bit of that window texture. And if you go too far with the blur, it just looks like hazy, like lighter colored area, um, which is fine too. So it's, it's definitely up to whatever your preference is for your photo. And then when you're satisfied with the amount of blur you have, you can hit okay. Um, now, you are more than welcome to darken these if you want, brighten them up. Um, to do that, I would simply choose your favorite method of brightening or darkening. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna darken the window frost because here it's a little bright, it's a little hazy. Um, so I am going to add a new layer, just hitting the circle um, icon at the bottom of my layers panel and choosing, let's choose brightness contrast. 
So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on this layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. And it's gonna clip right down to the layer below it, which is that window frost overlay. And so now when I drag the brightness down, it'll only darken that window frost and not anything else. Um, so you are um, more than welcome to darken both the winter window and the frost. You can place them both in a group if you want to make it easier on you to darken them both at the same time. Um, so that is how I would do that. One more thing I wanna show you is that at any time you can add a layer mask to your window frost or to your winter window um, just by hitting this rectangular button with a circle inside at the bottom of your layers panel. Once that white mask has popped up, you can grab a soft black brush, maybe like 10 or 20% opacity, whatever you want, and just fade that effect here it's pretty faded over my subjects already, which is perfect, but you can fade this anywhere else that you want a little bit more of your photo to pop up. Um, and so you can increase your opacity here. I increased to 40% by hitting the four on my keyboard um, if you wanted to reduce it a little more drastically. So for me, I'd stay subtle here, but you're welcome to go as, as strongly as you like. Um, but yeah, that's how I would use these. You can find these on my website at morganburks.com if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at morgan at morganburks.com and I'd be happy to help. Thank you. Have a great day.